questions and comments? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Leader of the Government in the House of Commons. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And then there was reality. And the reality is that we have a government that's actually building literally thousands of homes in cooperation uh, with other levels of government. Contrast that to the leader of the Conservative Party when he was the Minister of Housing in one year built, I need two hands for this, Mr. Speaker, six houses. Now, I can suggest to you, Madam Speaker, or Mr. Speaker, at the end of the day, uh, the programs that are being put in place are going to have a positive, profound impact by working with other levels of government, contrary to the position that the Conservatives say, cut the funding and beat the, uh, and beat the municipalities over the head to try to get them to build more homes. That's the Conservative approach. Why does he believe the Conservative approach is going to build any houses? The Honourable Member from Parry Sound, Muskoka. Well, it, I mean, Mr. Speaker, if anybody accepted the premise of that ridiculous question, that is not the Conservative approach. The Conservative approach is to reward results, not pay for promises. That's the Liberal approach. They keep spending money, borrowing money, and, and pushing the cost of paying off that debt onto the next generation, which are already thinking they'll never be able to own a home of their own. The fact of the matter is, Cities are a big part of the problem. They're on the front lines of the crisis, but they are also part of the problem. And just rewarding them with millions and millions of dollars while they make it more expensive is idiotic. Questions and comments? The Honourable uh, L'Honorable, just to comment on L'Honorable Député de... The Honourable Member for Thérèse de Bainville. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to my colleague. We are at the HUMA committee together, and we've done many studies on the housing issue. It's a great uh, thing to be talking about affordable housing today, or rather we've had in the past a lot of testimony uh, saying it's not just about offer, supply and offer, and offer. We also have to invest in social housing. So there has to be of funding outside of the market to support NGOs, because that's where there are uh, massive needs. Does my colleague agree with such an approach? The Honourable Member from Paris Sound, Muskoka. Yeah, the, the simple answer is, oui. Je suis d'accord. I do agree. I do agree. Uh, there are lots of examples where where governments can work together in partnerships with, with community organizations. Uh, when I was the mayor of Huntsville, we gave land to different community organizations to build affordable and deeply affordable units. This, the federal government owns all kinds of buildings, thousands and thousands of buildings that are underutilized, and all kinds of land. And we can, we can make that land available in partnership with organizations and, and reduce the cost of getting these units built, and we can get a lot more done. 